Hey everybody! How are you doing? Last Outrider here. This is going to be a short video that ties together all of my Necron Formation videos. So if you haven't seen them, go see them because this is going to be called the Necron Decurion Detachment. And the Necron Decurion Detachment is a special rule that allows you to replace the force allocation chart and the normal army building rules completely. They say here that, well, let me just read it to you, the Necron Decurion Detachment allows you to represent the typical structure of the Necron Dynasty's armies on Warhammer 40k Battlefield. Whether you wish to represent a Pharon leading his crown world's defense or a dynasty reclaiming their ancient territories, the choices below will offer a great way to pick your army. Okay, so that's what I mean when I says it replaces it. Just throw out everything you're used to. This allows you to pick your entire army using only formations if you want. It does this by having by categorizing the formations into three different types. A core formation, an auxiliary formation, and a command formation. And the rules are quite simple. You need to take at least one core formation, um, two auxiliary formations, and you have the option of taking a command formation of 0 to 1. Throwing out, as I said, everything else you have about army building and just use this. Now, the core formation is a little silly because there's only one. That's the Reclamation Legion. But you can have more than one of that formation if you want. So, But you need at least one Reclamation Legion. After that, you need two auxiliary formations. Those are Adjudicator Battalion, a Destroyer Cult, Kineptic Harvest, Annihilation Nexus, Living Tomb, and Deathbringer Flight. Now, you can also replace those formations with either a any of the Satan, the fl a Flayed Ones unit, or a Death Marks unit. All of those count the same as taking an auxiliary formation. You also have the option of taking one Royal Court as a command formation. Okay? So... Yeah, they completely throw standard army building out the window. And I think they do that as a purpose. So anybody building a Necron army now, I strongly suggest you look at these, the Necron Decurion detachment and these formations as your way of designing your army. I really think it's built around these rules. If you're just doing it the standard old-fashioned way, a force allocation chart, you might be able to get something good. You're not going to be able to get something as good as, as using this detachment, basically. I mean, this allows you to do really whatever you want. The, you, you have a Reclamation Legion, and then after that, you can have really anything. You If you want nothing... But <laughs> Satan running around, okay, you, you, take, you take two of those. You can either just take Transcendent Ones or a Deceiver and a Nightbringer or anything you like, just as long as you have the points to do it. It's, it's really kind of cool. In mine, I like the original Necron fluff. I usually like all of the original fluff in which this whole... You know, Tomb Lords from Warhammer Fantasy, before that was imported into 40k, and they were just Terminators, just pure robots controlled by the Satan. 
No, and that I thought was cool. So that's still how I play mine. And I do that by taking the command barge. Now, I mentioned that in one of my other videos, and I didn't go into enough detail about it. Basically, what I'm saying is, is I convert my command barge. I remove the little overlord figure, and I turn it into basically a floating artificial intelligence nexus, is, is what I call it. Just as long as you see what I'm saying. So for me, that means I remove all lords and overlords and pharaons from my army, and I just send them out as terminators. That was the theme for mine. Um, so that completes the series. Try building your armies this way. Hopefully, maybe even somebody will, will start doing um, battle reports. Hint, hint, hint. Only using formations. The difficulty I have with that is that so few people know formations, I haven't really been able to get the games going yet. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.